in Arena, in order to determine uh, the best replication number, the optimal amount of the replication number, it's not just like by putting a number here, like in the run setup. It's not just as straightforward as this. There is a way in order to determine the best approximated replication number. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So I'm going to consider a simulation model where the output is a total profit. Okay, and I'm going to show you step by step how to build the model, how to put the data into Excel, how to obtain the optimal best approximation, approximated replication number. So I'm going to start with a basic process. Okay, so we have, it's going to be like really a small example. So we have create process dispose. So I'm going to pause the video for a second just to build it. So we have one that's coming every 0 0.2 hours. And we have sys delay release, the operator name. And this is system out. So that one here is system in. Okay. So say we're running the system over 8 hours. So we're gonna, in the advanced process, uh, we're gonna add the template panel, attach statistics. So we, we have the output here as an expression. And in the basic process variable, we have uh, hourly wage okay, is five dollars, and we have the selling price is three dollars, and we have the overhead per day, of course, is one hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So, if you don't want to see this part, you could just like uh, go forward to the end. So, th in the statistics part, we're gonna find here first the total cost. Okay. So, we just and so build expression a variable current value, the hourly wage times. Okay, number of hours per day, so how many hours you have for 8 hours. If you want, you could put here as final simulation time. Okay, so this is between parentheses and plus basic process variable current value and we have the overhead. So this is here as a total expenses per day and here is the total profit so we do build expression we want the system like the entity hours how many one of them we multiply this times the selling price okay so this is the total revenue minus we go all the way up to the advanced process statistics output plus recorded value and we need the total expenses so we are done so this is the total total profit and I'm gonna save this optimum application parameters okay so the next step to be done is uh, I'm gonna show you quickly what I'm gonna do here. Uh, so I'm gonna save the program which I already did. Uh, I'm gonna uh, so here uh, no border or transparent ground. You could select this is a nice border. Okay. So here just want this 
build expression statistics output last recorded value this is the total expenses and we have here uh, total profit uh, excuse me it's not it's, like, it's gonna be like really a simple example but I just want to prove the point of replication links so if we run this program for eight hours so we have the total expenses like which we're using money actually so this is the total profit let's put the total revenue in the middle so build the expression uh, entities number out this is to be multiplied by the variable current value and selling price okay so if I run this again that's why we have huge loss so I'm gonna make this time here in minute between 6 10 and 25 minutes of course on average so we have here like zero has gone through I think it's still in hours so we put it in minutes and so it's not still not enough unit so we have to basic process selling price as a variable we need to put the selling price higher so if we put it nine dollars I think it will be it will be better okay so this is the first step we did absolutely nothing so far we need to set this replication parameters to 10 okay and then we run the program times as you would see we'll make it faster okay would you like to see the result now because with I don't want to see this result we have to obtain the result from somewhere else but please pay attention so uh, we need literally this file okay and we open the file f1 uh, so in this excel form okay in this excel form which i've done before uh, it's very easy and very straightforward i'll show you how it works first we copy the data from the file which i'm going to open it in a second i put them here for 10 location we calculate those values as you would see here Okay, the standard deviation. The standard deviation. You have all the equation. So you, we find the number of replications. So the, here are the number of replication. Let me just write it here. So this one is a desired. Okay, is a desired number of replication. Okay. So the values below is a desired number of replication, and I'm gonna show you what does that mean okay so let's start with the one we have here so if the desired half words is 250 and we need to run it like 70 times the number of replication must be equal to 79 if the desired words is 350 the number of replication could be 40 if the desired half words is 200 it could be 103 if the desired half words i will show you if it is this is two, for example this is like I'm gonna do the same example okay so if we desire to have a value of 50 so we need to run it as number of replication 1983 times okay so let's apply our value to see what we should do there properly okay so I'm gonna just pause it again so here I'm gonna, I've already copied all the values, so I'm gonna insert the values here and show you how, how what do we have. So we, we do have uh, 107, 134, 98, 116, 116, 89, 134, and 89, and 107.9. Okay, so now uh, we need to, I'm gonna cancel, no need for all this. So let's see if we really need like uh, the half width is 11.67 which is literally because it's like it's extremely small example it's extremely small example but if you have like a bigger example the value will be much different it will be much bigger so you need to reduce the half width as much as possible so let's say if we desired a half width of one, of two of three okay of five 
what will happen so this is like a good half width between those two between three and five so the number of replication is 113 and 40 uh, usually the number of replications like a huge issue to obtain a statistical accurate data and you need as much as possible the population to be bigger in order to represent a normal distribution and this is really valid so uh, as long as it is more than 30 uh, replication so it's like definitely a normal distribution but the bigger is better but at the end you don't want it to make it way much bigger because it won't make any difference and at this time if your computer is as slow as mine it will take forever to run so those last two they are like a really good 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 option like to consider those two values here sorry so those values here let's do them in, in blue they are like the optimal value to be inserted in your um, in your work so all what you have to do just to test 113 or 40 and when you do this trust me on this issue when you do this if you want a copy of this file i could send you when you do this like number of replication you might not in like three or five but you get a value like extremely close to it you get a value extremely close to it uh, like three point or four point five okay so if you have if you want a copy of like this video or whatever excel or arena just let me know please